things I was thinking of is, as you were talking about experiments with dolphins and, and thinking about ways of sort of thinking about other intelligences, like sort of a question I, that occurred to me is, and you might, have, you might have sort of concrete examples of this or maybe more speculative examples, but how does SETI's work, how could SETI's work just thinking about other kinds of intelligence be useful to us here on Earth with, oh. with other people? Gee, I'll pay you later. <laughs> I think, you know, I, I am the ultimate Pollyanna perhaps, but I think SETI can change the world. And it can do so in the following way. People, many people are interested in SETI. Many people don't know, don't yet know about SETI because we have not yet told our story well enough. But if we can get the world actively involved in the search, and after all, if there's any problem which is global, this is certainly one. The environment is another, but there aren't any signals being sent to California. They're being sent to the planet Earth. So if we can get people actively involved, so they think about it, they actually think about their connection to the cosmos. Mm -hmm. The fact that the iron in the hemoglobin in their blood was cooked up in a massive star eight billion years ago. You know, they are intimately connected with the universe and SETI and thinking about someone else out there. To me, what it does is it's an opportunity to hold up a mirror to all of us on this planet in a way that makes us see ourselves as all the same, all earthlings, right? And maybe it can trivialize the differences among humans that we're willing to spill, spill blood over. So I think SETI can help to change the world.